Because we can laugh. That's all I want to do. Enjoy myself with the people around me. Technically, I'm the boss. Some people call me boss lady, but I don't like to be called that. I just like to be called Midge. My salon is Shoes Bob and Beauty Salon. It's definitely different in here. It's like a whole community in here. And that's one thing I love about my salon. Everybody respects one another. And a lot of the people that come in here, they respect me. Chicago's a really big city with a lot of talented people. A lot of unrecognized talent as well. Everyone here is talented. We do some of everything. You know, we're friendly. We like to help others, you know. What makes it comfortable for people to come in is the fact we have an open door policy. So we really don't turn anyone away. And when they come in here, they realize just how much of a family setting that it is. Growing up in the projects, I was always the one that like colored my friend's hair. We all had like jerry curls and I would dye their hair with peroxide and then color it with Kool-Aid. So I was like coloring everybody had red, purple, and this was years ago. I went to work for my mother's friend as her um, shampoo assistant. And within two years, she went to school, got her license, became licensed, came back for another six months, and then branched out on her own. And then within a year, she opened up her own salon. She's accomplished a lot in 22 years. Very proud, very. I met my angel the first day we opened for business. She was walking past on her way home from school and she stopped at the window and was staring. And I waved at her and she came inside and just stood right here. And I'm like, can I help you? And she was like, I want to do hair. She's been here every Saturday since. She just asked me what I wanted to be when I grow up and I say I'm a beautician. When I come in the door, I say hi to everyone doing shampoo hair. Good job. This is my daughter. She was actually the shop baby. She's been in a salon where I used to work when she was a little girl, a baby, a toddler. I actually had a playpen in the salon. Did you really? Yes. I never knew that. She was the shop baby. She's been the shop baby for years. For years. She, she literally grew up in the salon. And just like how you saw that young lady you were working with interviewing my angel, that was her. She's, she's a natural at it. She knows how to do all of this. I, I love my natural hair. I love it because I'm able to get up and go. Wash and go, braid into French braids and go. Um, this definitely takes more time having to comb it out and blow dry it, flat iron it. But at the end, it's, it's all worth it. Come in with the hat on and leave out with the wind blowing in your hair. <laughs> Good, don't stop. <laughs> It's no issues at Issue Salon except the issue of being beautiful. So, yes, it's worth it over and over. Some clients spend like four to six hours here. It's a, it's a handful of them. Once they finish, they still stay the rest of the day. They like to hang out. Because you have some clients come sit in the chair and they may talk about whether it's a relationship or whether they're going through something. I've just always been the type of person that would encourage someone. I like encouraging The main thing that inspires me about doing hair is I like for women to feel pretty and beautiful. Like, I think it's beauty in everyone. No matter the color, shape, uh, the hair texture, I just love making women feel pretty. And I know every time a woman gets her hair done, she always feels pretty. And you know there's a such thing called cute sleep. You gotta sleep cute, because you don't want to mess the curls up. Can I show you yeah. how it is? Okay, I'm gonna show you. So this is what you do. You don't want to mess up that pixie. You don't want to mess it up. So you gotta, and when you nod, you just gotta catch yourself so you don't mess up the sides. Can we come together, everyone, so we can pray? Take the time out to pray with us. Father God, we come to you to say thank you. Give him praise. Hallelujah. 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 I just love Mitch. I love her spirit. I love her energy. She's so strong. Like, I thought I was strong. She is strong. Like, she's strong. And I love her. And I love working. So, if that sounds good, I don't ever plan on me.